Hi guys, this is my long overdue Ubudu Turb vlog and I hope you enjoy it. So guys, we are at the resort now, but we're supposed to go up the Ubudu Mountain Resort. We're supposed to go up the mountain. So at this point, we were told that all of us couldn't go up in the bus because we were climbing up a hill and it would be dangerous if the bus was carrying so much weight. So we decided that the guys would go in the bikes that were provided to us. Um, these were trained bike men. They were trained to go up and down the hill. So we decided to divide ourselves into two. The guys would go in the bikes and the ladies would go in the bus. The guys are pretty much excited about this arrangement, <laughs> as you can see. Nice kid. safety driver and a tall guy. Okay. So me and born and brought up there. We have six villages up there. Up where? Up here, on top of the mountain. Okay. Oh, they are full final, let you not follow. You are the window. See where we took yeah. off from, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. finally got to the mountain resort this was us at the administrative block we came here first to sort out our reservations and all the guys were already here they were showing us videos they made while coming off the hill We came down to stretch our legs for a bit and then got into the bus and guys look at how went close the cabins. clouds we are. It's so pretty. Yeah. I swear. <laughs> There's no light yet. The entire facility is run by a generator, so we're waiting for the generator to come on so we can have light. it's day two and I'm headed to the second cabin for breakfast
crazy how one minute it's clear and the next minute it gets really foggy like it was really crazy Hi guys, welcome back. So as you know, we're at the Obudu Mountain Resort. Um, so actually, this place has different sections. Let me put it that way. We're just in one section. We're at the toppest part of the mountain, and it's called the Mountain Resort. So we're at the place where the mountain villas are, right? So we're in this three-bedroom cabin. I did a house tour. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. We're at the mountain resort and there are like cabins here. There are two bedrooms and three bedroom cabins. We're staying in the three bedroom cabin. So this is the entrance to the three bedroom cabin. This is what it looks like. Let me take you around to show you. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, there's hi Hello. <laughs> there's a kitchenette so um this is a, a big fridge freezer the sink Gosh. <laughs> this is room one kennedy can i come in uh kennedy this is how your room will show up on youtube this is your room. Okay. Oh my god, Kennedy, okay. this is your room. room. Indeed. <laughs> so this is room one. So when you come in, the first room is by your right. And then there's this little lounge. It's this little lounge. Then the balcony. The view is great from here. Then the second room. The second room is by the balcony. So this is room two. So this is the room. Um, the bed is decently sized. There's a wardrobe. I have some of my stuff already on the wardrobe. The bathroom. It has like a shower there. So you have access to the balcony. From the room it's beautiful and then there's one last room upstairs so guys as you know we I and my husband and a couple of other creatives came to Obudu mountain resort when it's just great content have some like off, off days and just chill so um, we got here on a Thursday and we we're going to create content Friday, Saturday and then leave on Sunday so we have just two days here. We used road to Abuja so we advised that it was basically pointless flying because if you fly to Calabar it's another about six hours journey again to the resort. It took us give or take about 10 hours to get here. Um, 
we were told eight hours but you know how it is on the road we had a couple of stops so give or take 10 hours then when we got here we got to the entire like to the when we got to the resort itself the place we're supposed to stay is it's the mountain villa so that's like at the toughest part of the mountain so the bus we came in they said no that they had safety drivers that would take us up in the bus because like we we're going to the toughest part of the mountain like guys this is a really high mountain so we're going to the toughest part and they had trained drivers that would like take you there so um but they also talked about the fact that our bus was too full so like it would be too heavy so what what happened was the guys came down to use bikes they, they were bike riders bike men there so the guys came down to use the bikes then the ladies went to the bus um one of the safety drivers came and drove the bus up guys <laughs> the ride up was so scary oh okay when we started going like you guys this mountain is really high just imagine climbing up a really high mountain driving up a really high mountain like it was scary it was also a bit thrilling but i was very afraid because i have high school gear. i was really worried for Banji because they were using the bikes i was worried it would be more scary and it would be cold i was quite worried for him when we we're going up there were these sharp bends like every time you have to like make a sharp bend to climb like a level higher it was the scariest thing and the buses couldn't like they had to drive drive fast because they were climbing up a hill so like they had to actually accelerate all the um, all the way it was so scary that's all i can see and it was a lot like i thought it was going to be like a five minutes top 10 minutes and we would be at the top of the mountain guys it took close to 20 minutes or even more i was so afraid i just couldn't wait to get to the top of the mountain that's actually one of the brilliant things to happen so we've got here yeah, we got here by 8 p.m. and then I mean we got to the top of the mountain by almost 8 p.m. Okay, let's say 7:30 ish and there's no light. I just want to point out that the place in itself is really really beautiful, but the management is horrible. Um when we got here there was no light, it was like almost 8 p.m. and there was no light and we had to wait for a while before the connected lights to the villas where we were staying after they connected the lights it kept going on and going off going off and going on and then at some point they took it for close to an hour only for them to say oh they are putting on the small gen for us that we won't be able to use the big gen to sleep the place is really cold so the rooms don't come with acs but the rooms come with heaters so now the fact that the big gen wouldn't be on meant that we wouldn't be able to use the heaters so we had to sleep that way so we woke up and there was no light up until noon then our host went to go and pay i think some private individuals that are doing their own thing have like a small generator around paid them and then they connected light to our villas like what is just just imagine that mm -hmm. i forgot to mention to you guys last night we got here we're really hungry so we told we ordered the food from the restaurant jello fries and chicken guys that food was the worst i'm not joking the worst jello i've ever eaten in my entire life was that jello i could not even eat it i just took a few spoons i ate the chicken like it was so 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 bad would not recommend so the place is really beautiful in, in itself like we're at the toppest part of the mountain so we're literally close to the sky the place is really really foggy there's always fog moving around at some point in the morning we moved away from us and then came back right now if you even look outside there's a lot of fog in the mornings like early in the morning at dawn you can't even see anything like if you look outside you won't see anything because it gets really really thick even at night, yeah, middle of the night, stroke down, it gets really, really thick. But during the day, it just moves, moves around. Sometimes it's around you, sometimes it moves to another point. And I think it's because the clouds are moving, because we're really close to the clouds. So this is day two. I haven't really done any things. <laughs> we just had breakfast. Then I, I had to boil water. Okay, so we rented a camp gas. So we had to use boil water on the camp gas to shower because the water here is free freezing cold like it's super cold so we have to boil water to shower 
and I just been showering and wearing some makeup and now I just want to walk around with my husband and see more of the place so yeah that's what we're doing now that's what we'll be up to for day two nothing nothing much I think day, day three has more activities I think we're going to um, do some photo shoots a couple of shoots and then we're going to do a bonfire and a games night so guys so this is how bad the fog looks at night there's a house in front of like there's supposed to be a house in front of me but you can't see because of the fog that's how bad it gets guys that's how bad it gets can't see anything on the third day we got to do the photo shoots and also like tour the entire facility <laughs> So guys, we're heading towards the waterfall. Hopefully my mom doesn't watch this video because she really wants me not to go close to any water. I think you can hear the sound. My mom would be very displeased. I'm not going close to the water anyway, so. So we're headed to the canopy walk. They are ready for the adventure. Like, I was able to convince them. And voila! See them coming through. I'm ready. I'm Pump not ready. <laughs> Why is it popping up? <laughs> <laughs> This was the night before we left and so we just had a bonfire, we danced, ate and just had fun. Hey!